Okay, Hussein says, um, Hello, Sensei K, thanks a lot for lives. Uh, one question, according to time cycles, don't you think USJPY may retrace a little then go up and break the resistance? Let me check. Let me check the USJPY based on the time cycles and also Kyushu Ashi, as we mentioned previously. Yeah, as for the time cycles, as I mentioned, yes, two days back was exactly on the Henkabi, and now it's retracing backwards. But uh, it doesn't mean that the market goes down from here, because again, it has been supported by the trend line. If it breaks the trend line, then it may go down to the Kijun Sen, and then it may bounce and goes up also. So, but the next potential pushback will be around the 21st of July. Because that's the next Henkabi on the lows. 41 bars to the future from the 26th of May will be the 21st of July. That will be, that will be the pushback. So if the market breaks resistance and keeps going up this way, next pushback may happen around this day and the market may continue to grow up this way. Or if the market breaks the trend line, the Kijun Sen, the market may gradually go down range. Maybe break the Kuma also, and pushback may happen here, and goes up from here too. So, time cycles give you a bigger picture of the market, so it's possible that the market may reverse backwards from here. But uh, still, based on the technical analysis on the weekly chart it's bullish and it's above that Tenkan Sen and the trend line so my view in this case is still bullish in this way and with that in mind if you also look at the Kyushu Ashi um, Kyushu Ashi shows it has been bullish for the last 19 bars and Next Kihon Suchi is 26. So in that sense, this uptrend may be persistent um, based on the Kyushu Ashi. But the 17 was actually here. 17 was also Kihon Suchi. And 17 was actually exactly the same as the previous time cycles in candlesticks. So in that sense, 17 bars and 33 bars were together, so the market may go down for the next 17 bars. So I think the bottom line in this case is really whether the market will be supported by the trend line and goes up or not. If it breaks, you can follow uptrend. Otherwise, you can follow downtrend. I think it's captured by the time cycles in this uh, candlesticks and also the Kyushu Ashi. Yeah, if you're new to my live streams or uh, on my YouTube, and if you wonder what the Kyushu Ashi is, you can also come to my webpage and um, get the Kyushu Ashi book. Okay, so it looks like it's been about one hour now. So, I will be ending the live in about a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And in last word, I would like to add this one before ending the video today. And that is, improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow. Because oftentimes I see some traders comes to the forex market or in other markets and they Try to be successful as soon as possible. And that motivation is okay. But uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort, step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step by step. So, even when you're losing, then 
look back your trace and look for the areas you can improve your trace and even if it is successful also look back your own successful trace and try to find an area to improve your trace maybe your profit might be a bit too early or your break-even timing might be a too, bit too early too or your stop loss was a bit too tight also so in both ways whether it's a losing trace or winning trace uh, please look back your own trace because that's the only way you can success in the long term so thank you for watching until the end if you liked it please press the like button and i will see you on the next one so until then please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold bye for now matane thank you